Good morning everybody, welcome. Well I started off this morning when I was saying to the Lord, what should I talk about this morning? I was thinking again about one of the verses we looked at yesterday from 1 Thessalonians 5 um, verse 8. Um, this verse says, um, since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. And as I'd been thinking about that verse yesterday, um, I linked it suddenly in my mind with the end of 1 Corinthians 13, where Paul says at the end of that wonderful chapter about love, these three remain, faith, hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. And in this verse in Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, he says, the breastplate of faith and hope and for a helmet, sorry, faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Faith, hope and love, again mentioned together, the three, these three amazing qualities. And I was thinking about that. I was thinking I'd never, never seen the link before, never thought of those two verses together before. And this is this is the wonderful thing about studying the scriptures, about reading the scriptures, that as we get to know them and as uh, they become part of us and as we get more and more familiar with them, we see links that are there. It's the most amazing book with links from from beginning to end, middle to middle to middle, links everywhere, because although it was written by so many different people, the mind behind it, the Holy Spirit, um, gave everyone links. There are links, amazing links at times, between different places in the Bible as we get to know it. And this thought took me, in my mind, to um, a very old chorus. I do love choruses and songs that are written full of phrases from the scriptures. And this particular one had a phrase in it that said, from the old uh, authorised version, study to show yourself approved of God. And uh, that phrase, study to show yourself approved of God, comes from 2 Timothy 2.15. <coughs> it doesn't read quite the same in the more modern translations. But it spoke to me this morning as I thought about that phrase, study to show yourself approved of God. That here we are, we have a month before the end of this new lockdown. It might be longer, it might not be, but it certainly is for a month till the 2nd of December, four weeks. In that, that's not a long time. And if you've never done any Bible study, now is the time to embark and have a go and do it. And we have so many helps today. We have the internet. We can go onto Google or onto a Bible app or a Bible um, site and look up any word. You could look up helmet for hope, the helmet of salvation. You could look up love. That would be a big study. Or hope. Or Timothy. You could look up anything. You could say, well, I'm going to study the life of Timothy. And look it up in a concordance. Or look it up on the internet. And jot down all the verses where Timothy is mentioned. And then look them up and read them and think about them and see what his life was like and who he was and learn from his life. Learn from the writings that he wrote, if he wrote like writings. Of course, Timothy didn't write these two letters. They were written to him by Paul. But, or pick a subject, pick any subject you like. Soldier, athlete, um, talents. I wouldn't pick something big like Jesus because you'd never stop. <laughs> looking at all the verses but um, sticking to a topic because quite often we do bible studies don't we which are about a book you know we read through a book with a group of other people but when we look topically at something we look at lots of different passages in the scripture and we learn from them this is an opportunity to have a go at studying the bible at examining it and asking questions of it of learning to get to know it better and what a wonderful thing you could look up I don't know if you like the book of Philippians for example you could look up Philippi and see all the references to Philippi 
and reread the book of Philippi Philippians. You could look at, uh, at Peter or at Thomas or um, pick any. Or, you know, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity. We have a month in which to do it. And that verse says, study. It was an instruction to Timothy, who knew the scriptures well. He'd been taught them from a child. That's what Paul commends him for when he writes to him. But he still says to him, study. There's always more to learn as we put our mind to examining the scriptures and looking at them and using this time that's been forced on us, but turning it into a blessing so that we can enlarge our faith. You could look up faith. You could look up, I don't know, I don't know, words, the, the tongue. You could all sorts of things. Have a think about it. Have a prayer about it. And if the Lord gives you something to research and to look up and to read about in the Bible, follow it. Follow that instinct that's come to you, that prompting that's come to you from the Lord. Um, if there's something you've always wanted to know more about or a, a person you've always wanted to know more about, maybe Samuel or Saul, the Old Testament king, or I don't know, Daniel, maybe you want to know more than Dan than is written in the book of Daniel, or Jonah. Where is Jonah? Does G Jesus talk about Jonah? Where, do, where is Jonah mentioned in the Bible? Is it just his book or is he mentioned elsewhere? Noah, is he just in Genesis or is he mentioned elsewhere in the Bible? Take that opportunity to research a person or a thought in the scriptures for yourself. Because you know when you search the scriptures for yourself, it becomes more real. I know you're blessed by the thinking that I have, but the thinking I have has come from years and years of reading this one wonderful book. I was thinking this week that Tuesday this week was the 64th, 60, 60, anyway, 3rd of November, 1964 was when I gave up my heart to the Lord. So how many years is that? A 66, I think, isn't it? Anyway, I have been a Christian for a very long time and I've been reading the scriptures and studying them on and off throughout my life. And it, it still blesses me to search the scriptures for th topics and things uh, that the Lord wants to say to me. So I hope I've encouraged you to... Um, Look at this book, this wonderful book that's been given to us in deeper, in a deeper way in this month of lockdown. God bless you. Have a great day. Start something new maybe today. Who knows? And I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.